Hey, um, uh, today let's um go through the way that we can you know, disable the public IP from the EC2 instance. And there can be times where you provision your uh, services through the private network, and you really don't need the public IP addresses. So due to some of your um security reasons so let's remove the public ip yeah um so uh while launching the instance what we can do is we can uh, disable the uh auto and public ip but we're not going to do this like i'm going to show you uh when the instance is already launched right uh, let's get it. Let's get it. Test. I don't really care this one. Like I can allow everything here. Oh, uh, launch the instance. I have something. Yeah, I don't need anything here. So. Okay, the instance is up. It should be up in some years. So. Uh, during this time. Uh, I'm not organizing the elastic IP for this time. Like, I should make sure that uh, I have the private network, private IP. I don't want to change the private IP, right? The public IP, I don't really care. I care the reason and all. And the, what I care next is um like the. PPC ID and the subnet ID. Let's paste everything here. <clears throat> okay, I'm good to go now. So let's do a thing. Let's start. Like go to the network interfaces. And here. Um, this is the subnet ID, right? One and the A PPC ID. Let's create a new native interface like test and I also through the subnet that the uh, EC2 is using currently. That's F, uh, FA1. Make sure this is correct, right? Uh, so we can auto send this one and the security group security uh, i don't really care like i can the default one name test and query network interface okay this is now created now what i can do is uh go to the elastic ip and let's create the elastic ip and associate with our instance like we only, we only care about the private ip not changing right so the public ip uh, you can do anything like that's the whole goal i mean now uh five four five four yeah this is attached with the elastic ip now elastic ip the another thing we uh, is like go to the networking and 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 attach network interface what we will do is uh like this is the network interface we created earlier i'll attach this one so let's see uh if everything is right uh, you will get two public two private ips the one we had previously is the 239. We don't want to change that one. 231, this one. Okay. Now the trick is like I've attached the DS. Okay. Now uh, what I'll do is go to the elastic IP gun and uh, de associate the elastic IP. Go to the instances reload now see 
or the public IP is gone. Like we have the uh, ENI, just uh, the one just to be created. So, what's the one? 239. Let's go here and remove the remove the details. So, uh, let's go here. Remove secure. Okay, uh, this is the one. I can detach it. I'll delete it. Okay, uh, I need to detach it first. <laughs> My bad. So that uh, the prints can be detached. Okay, 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 okay. Um, detach the new interface from here. This is a test and error. It in this one. Also, I don't need this one. I can delete since it's not attached. Let me load it. As uh, you see, uh, it should be in available. Okay, I can delete it now. Successfully deleted the native interface. Let's go the instances. Yes, see, we have the private IP. Like, we have the private IP that's 239, and the public IP is blank. So, we have successfully uh, removed the public IP. It's like teasing the EC3 instance. So, that's all. Thanks.